Howdy, howdy guys, welcome back to Tristan McNabb, Cruiser Man's Inventions. So, today we're going to be looking at this motor again that I showed you a little while back. It is a washing machine motor, it's 36 pole, and it has been rewired uh, to be an e-bike motor, or to be used as a go-kart motor, or whatever you fancy to put it on. So, as you can see, I've built the housing this center part in here is all plastic but it does have a uh, it was encased in plastic because it's actually molded around the plastic uh, part of the washing machine bin basically and you gotta really smash it off all that plastic off and then grind it all back to get it nice and flat and then build something to encase it and uh, you're gonna have to look back on some of my other stuff guys on my channel uh, because I have all of this uh, in previous videos how I built it and uh, I'm running a, a motorbike sprocket on here at this point this is kind of fast forwarding in time I'm just showing you what this does on an 800 watt controller guys uh, it's not quite a thousand watt but it might as well be on uh, 72 volts worth of uh, power juice right there see that's uh, one two three all five six and if you notice they're all in series from negative to positive negative to positive all the way back and then I've taken a positive from this end one and then uh, a neck you know sorry a ne negative from here and a positive from here to the controller and there's also a thin wire involved in the whole wiring loom uh, down here which which is incorporated into the switch so that thin wire to the switch and the thicker wire to the switch and uh, so let's turn it on it's on so uh, I've connected a simple throttle just to the so let's uh, wind it back and see how fast this thing goes guys so I was going to try this out on 48 volts and I'm going to try it out on 72 because I know these controllers can handle up to 80 volts Get a load of that power. Pretty cool. You know, with these smaller controllers. Uh, being under a thousand watts if you try and put uh, you know the gears they have three speed in them electronic three speed but I just really have it in the middle gear or I try and find the high you know between the three wires that they have here which is this one here and that's what they look like brown black and blue you know I just actually leave it open in middle gear not even in high gear and then I'll just try and overpower it by more batteries in series, making it from 48 volts right up to 72. Now let me just show you the wiring diagram for this um, washing machine motor, guys. Okay, let's go up here. I'll just turn this off for a second. <clears throat> that is putting out a phenomenal amount of uh, RPM. Now, as you all know, guys, I hold the most patent patents. Uh, to do with washing machine motors so the one I'm I'm actually going to be getting to guys is not this one not this one is the three times four this one the reason why it's called three times four is because there's three lots of uh this if you look here, this is why it's calculated like this. The three phases here are counted as one, two, three, four, and then it gets tied off. See? And how many groups of four are there? There's three. One, two, three. But it's all into loop by the inner wire here. So that's why it's a three times four C wiring diagram. I 
Okay. So let me just take you through the rest of the wiring diagram to do with other ones. That's a stock standard one, this one up here. That's why it's a 1 times 12 C. 36 divided by 3, 12. So next one is 1 times, uh, 12 times 1 C. It's reversed, basically. And uh, you can see how many uh, tie-offs it has right there. My light's just going off. I think I pulled it out of the plug. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I do. Yeah. Get this back on. Oh. oh no, I can't get that on. Okay, what I'm gonna do is stand up here, see if this will focus in for you. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna brush past these guys. Some of you will know what this is, and some of you won't. I don't expect all of you to know what this is. But you that have been uh, dealing with these motors. You can turn them back to e-bike motors and stuff, guys, or generators, for that matter. And these are all the wiring diagrams for that, right? Here's another multi, multi one that I done. It's a few generators in one to give out different powers. Okay. And I know that uh, a lot of you are going to be pausing this, playing it back, pausing it, playing it back. Do that. Because that's the only way you're going to learn. Really. Because <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going through this on my time lapse now as much as I can possibly slow it down, guys. Alright. So the max that these washing machine motors can actually handle is, well, it's a high voltage, but I'll put 3,000 watt controller up to some of these. Even some of the smaller ones. And uh, they've handled, and uh, I've got a good speed out of them. You know, but, uh, yeah, and then the rest of it goes down to alternator stuff, and uh, we're just focusing on washing machine stuff. But this is the one here that I just showed you. Now let's get back to it. Oh. Alright, before I run out of time on here, guys. Oh. Alright. So, uh, so this is what it looks like. And that's what, yeah, I'm going to try and get in there as best as I can, guys. I know my camera is not the best. And I know some of you have commented on my camera. And, uh. This is an 8 inch tablet that I got off uh, AliExpress. But, um, right, let's just fire it up again, guys. This ain't a how to video. It's just basically me showing you stuff behind the scenes of this washing machine motor and how it works. So, uh, and the wiring diagrams, guys. So, let's flick her on. It's putting out a lot of power. A lot of power. I wish I could find something, put something on there to show you how fast this thing's spinning. Let's just see if I can quickly get something on there. Probably fly off. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Flew off. So anyways guys, I don't know what it is at the center shaft, but the outside is definitely up to 6,000 RPM, it's pretty damn high. And um, just uh, look back on my other channel to do with these, uh, you know, rewiring these motors and stuff. That's uh, five strands of uh, that I've used in this, twisted up um, uh, 28 times around each pole. and it, Man, I got a good speed out of it. I just can't remember what, I, what speed I'd done, but it was, it was a good speed. It was well over 50 k's. I think it was close to 60 or something, but 
they're good to muck around with and they're really good stock standard wire for generators so um, don't rewire them for generators just rewire them for e-bike motors it's the best advice I can give you uh, but that's how fast it spins off just 800 watt I had it on 3000 it was beep, 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 beep. I couldn't even handle it but you know I through these wiring diagrams uh, they're true to form and um, there's one there and he split it in half and you can you can get right up to a hundred volts into these things easily but uh, it's a give-and-take system as you know and that's uh, trial and error so uh, just go from there guys cool cool thanks for watching guys I'll be back with something else pretty soon cool cool cruise a man out guys